There's nothing quite like the raw experience of exploring a new map for the very first time, especially when you're all alone facing down the wrath of an entire city. It takes careful movement, planning, a delicate mix of aggression, and at times trigger discipline to make it out. And sometimes, even when you do everything right, it's still not enough. This adventure will encompass everything that is the core Tarkov experience and then some. But first, we needed to figure out how to even get out of this place alive. We need Mira, Prospect, Embercom, Checkpoint, Police, Checkpoint. I don't know what any of that means, of course. I forgot to bring cash. Definitely a player. <laughs> first raid of the new wipe on a new map and we were already about to get in a fight in the very first room we'd explored. Gotta get that stomach back first. A little dehydrate. Oh, he's level four. I didn't mind getting into a fight right off the bat, especially because it's not possible to buy an MDR this early, so getting out with someone else's starter weapon along with my own would be a pretty huge deal. I still had tons of exploring and questing to do though, and our max health was already down to 355 from the normal 440 after all the surgery we had to do. This could potentially make future firefights a lot more devastating than they ought to be. Okay, one more time diving into the corner just because I know I can't get shot from my side here. <laughs> I should try to throw these. It's gonna be too heavy. Alright, so we need to try to get to Mira, Emercom, or. Okay, police is taken. So Mira or Emercom. I don't know what either of those things even are. Let alone where they are. We also gotta try to find an insurance drop. I want the armor, but it's just, it's so heavy. It's not as good a condition as mine. Oh, wow. I didn't realize there was a sight line there. Can you go in here? stuff. You need the TP early. I guess we need it more than an IFAC because it's for the hideout. Just try it. I was watching Deadly stream and it looks like Jaeger is not asking for these, these, these particular croutons. So yeah, I don't know. Oh wow. File cabinet city. The full MBR starter kit. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, I'll probably start tossing this soon. Chill. Oh, is that one of the guns I gotta look at? Might be. Give me a graphics card now. No. Worth a shot. I'll take an egg, right? Okay, I did need to come here. For whatever that's worth. Okay, so I'm looking for something called Mira or Embercom. None of these buildings are what I need. How will I know? I mean, hopefully they like say. Oh my god, that's a it's like a painting of a guy. <laughs> so like what is this? Kai oh my god, let's get this shit away. Kai Kai's first key. Okay, I see more paper. I'm good for paper. I don't think I want to loot any more files this raid. I might check that weapon though. Kaspersky fake. What is this? Oh! What? Banshee's level 4. I think this is 2. and I don't want to have to drop my commando. This is a really interesting building. I will give him that. That has an M on it. Is that Mira? I don't think so. Huh. Wonderful. I don't know which way to go. Not that I expected to, but... I don't know what Mira means. <laughs> I don't know where Emrakam is. We were pretty full of important loot at this moment with no clear shot and at a lower health total due to the fight earlier. Sometimes choosing not to squeeze the trigger is more important than the times you do. Oh, Tarbank. That's one of the quest areas. I think that guy did the quest and is dipping. I was kind of letting him create distance. We are like totally full on loot. That's actually pretty good ammo. What is this building? Oh. It's a dead guy, but I actually think it might be a static. Static dead guy. Metabolism. Oh, it's just a bath. Wait, this one? Oh, uh oh. Whoa! What the hell? Y'all got any loot? I know they like to put little gold chains in like the weirdest places, so I gotta look. No, nah, nothing in here. Oh wait! Dude! I told- what did I just say, bro? They put an egg on his foot, man. I don't even know if we can- I think it might be worth more than the oil. I don't know, like barely. <laughs> oh, I love this, dude. That is such a cool- literally an Easter egg find. How much time do we have? Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Oh. That's a static. Dead guy. Oh. What the hell? Wait, is it? This is a player. This one. This is a, probably a player scab, I think. Oh good, we need drinks. I want this, but like, we have too much shit. So this is probably a little bit right? I'm gonna go back downstairs. I'm gonna assume this area is the yeah. That time I said I was gonna go downstairs and then immediately went upstairs. Curiosity got the better of me, what can I say? Save the drink and go. Could keep going, but uh, I need to find my exfil. So I need to find whatever Mira means. Mira Prospect or Evercom Checkpoint. I have a feeling the Mira could be the flare one, and I don't have a flare. So in the ideal world, I'd really like to run into a check the Evercom Checkpoint. I do have a quest in there, but I think we're... A little low on time. Look for the X file. This quest is gonna take me too long to figure out when I don't know how to leave the map. We'll have to do it in a different raid. paint is mildly promising. Sniper warning. Don't love that personally. Mm, that's a flare area. Is this the is this the this should tell me right? Signal flare. Is this Mira? Terra group. Just because it says Terra group doesn't mean Amercom. Am I right? But it could. Yeah, I'm scared. This is like the same vibes I get when I first played Tarkov, except I know the controls and. and Overall, more confident in the game. Don't shoot green. Okay. This looks kind of promising. This looks kind of medical. I see a tent. Trunk is open. Someone's been here. Subtask? Fuck. Don't be doing that to me. Oh, just give her meds. You can do that. Worry about that later. Chad, I'm losing hope in this being the Ember Comics bill. Just kidding, I knew it was the whole fucking time. I wasn't even remotely worried at all. Anyone here ever read Saga, the graphic novel with Lying Cat? character called lying cat he only says one word he just whispers the word lying and he he perfectly can sense when someone is lying and he always says it and this bounty hunter goes around with the cat everywhere 
So when he's trying to, like, find somebody, it's like, have you seen this guy? No, lying. And then it's like, well, the cat's in here full of shit. So. Listen, I don't know, that's what made me think of. What can I say? All right, let's just get Give me that hat. Oh, let's go! With an amazing first raid of the wipe completed, we sold off some of the valuables we'd found and used a bunch of the barter items we'd looted to begin some basic upgrades on the hideout, including the vents, illumination, rest space, and our shooting range. I had only completed some partial tasks in our first raid, so we went right back to ground zero with the same loadout along with 5,000 rubles just in case we'd find the car exfil. But like last time, it wouldn't be long before danger would find us. been in here before. Yeah, there's that dead scab with a knife in his back. Wow. Oh, it's a rig. <laughs> I'll take it. Is this for the... Oh, it's blackout. I mean, it's probably better than a water. Um, this is bigger than my rig. I could keep it as a loot rig. Pistol shots, or I could fraud. What's, what's the weight? That's 1.7. Maybe I'll keep it for now for greed. Drinks are like gold in a long rig. Oh my god, bro, there's people everywhere. We're definitely in here. Damn it, I would have heard that. That man very nearly gave us a haircut during this fight. But thankfully, we can take care of grooming needs ourselves with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped, the sponsor of today's adventure. As a man with a beard, this upgraded trimmer is the best I've used. It's tough on hair where it needs to be, but gentle on the skin thanks to the dual skin safe blade heads. What does that mean? Well, not only do you get an amazing upgraded trimmer blade with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra to start your grooming session, but also an interchangeable foil blade for those more, shall we say, delicate areas of the body. Switching out the dual blade is super easy and if that wasn't cool enough the lawnmower also has a dual temperature feature and bigger led light to perfectly illuminate those harder to reach areas ready to up your grooming game click my link in the description or pinned comment below to get 20 percent off plus free international shipping at manscaped with promo code swampfox or visit manscaped.com swampfox and while you're there check out the performance package too for some insane value along with your lawnmower 5.0 ultra thank you manscaped for sponsoring today's adventure
Let's see about stash and my headset and then maybe moving rigs. I guess I'll take that for the quest. Well, I don't know if I can really ditch my gear here. I'll try. Crap, I kind of screwed up. I should. Sounds like it's coming from there. I actually thought he was looting my kill, but the sound wasn't right. <laughs> I didn't know there was a dead dude right out there. That's a dead player. Right there. Isn't it? Look at all this. Right, hold on, let's check the player. I wasn't expecting all this. Started to check ammo. I don't know if I want to loot the guy outside chat. I'm gonna say not worth. I got a lot of good stuff. I want to go underground because I think this might. I'm near the terror group building. This might link to it. I hope it does. I either need to repack that mag or just ditch it, right? So let's pack it. That was my first shoulder swap kill. <laughs>
That's gonna take the rest of my ammo. We still need that for the quest later. Oh. I don't know where these like dead USEX are. Okay, I actually kind of know where I am now. Oh my god. The shot scared me and I also thought that was a prone guy. Ooh. Let's drink this. I have no idea where these USEC guys are. garage? Is there like another one? I just kind of assumed this would link to the terror group garage because it's so close. I feel like I must have missed it, man. Unless there's another garage. MP5. <laughs> Is this guy a player guy? Kinda seems like it, no? Maybe I'll just fraud. Damn it. I didn't do it before because his helmet's dented. Go single fire on that. Try to tap scabs with it if we need to. I'm just gonna try to get out of here. After ascending this outdoor staircase again and a bit of running, I was in familiar territory and eventually made my way back to the Emrecom checkpoint where I was just about to exfil when I found a little surprise there.
This raid was huge again. We'd leveled up not once, but twice more, handed in the medical items needed to finish the first align task for therapists, and even built our workbench in the hideout. If you've experienced the world of Tarkov for even a little while though, you understand success can't find us every time. And in my very next raid, I spawned in the same room we did at the start and ran into someone early again, only this time, I completely potatoed what should have been an easy shot into a botched grenade throw, into finally a miserable piece where I should have known the guy would be. I wasn't going to let this string of misplays get me down, however, so I grabbed my new MP5. You know, the one we found downstairs on that strange glitched out guy who was running into a closed doorway. Spruced it up a bit and headed back to ground zero once more to hopefully continue making progress on our remaining tasks while attempting to learn the map layout further. And despite my now six years playing Escape from Tarkov, I was about to have an experience I'd never had before. first. I didn't like how exposed it was. I don't want to loot all that. Definitely people like all around. Yeah. 
This is a crazy scenario, actually. As you can see, the door is now open, and these guys ran upstairs over the barbed wire just as I had done earlier. So for a split moment, the staircase to my left here was the only thing separating us. What's interesting is when I heard them running a moment ago, I crept over to the left thinking they could be below me, and that incorrect inkling might actually be why we're still alive, because I'd otherwise have run right into them on these stairs. If I were staying truly task-oriented here, I really should just leave, but that's not what I chose to do. And this scenario also is not not actually the unique thing I mentioned would be happening to us this raid. To you guys above me, I don't know if there's any other way out other than back on the barbed wire, but a likely outcome is I kill one of the other one holds up there and it's awkward. I've been up there a long time. There's a lot of loot up there. I could probably tell I looted it, right? I took some stuff. I didn't I didn't loot the big room though. That must be where they're looting. Here we go. Oh. That was close, bro. <laughs> Can't buy this yet. Oh, they killed somebody. They looted him! Okay, the only thing we can do now is try to explore this building and do the quest in here because the car is taken and we got the upstairs thing. So yeah, there's a random claymore in this office. 
that's the unique experience I was referring to. I'm not sure why it's there, but it felt like a really miserable way to end an otherwise successful PvP encounter, especially when it immediately followed my fumbled MDR raid from earlier. I was a little tilted here, to be honest, but when my friend Leo joined the stream to ask if I wanted to duo and help him with the same mounted machine gun task we had just done, plus overlap our quest to locate the missing PMC group, which I had yet to find, I was happy to accept the change of pace. And man, what a change of pace it was about to be. Right. Better sweep your sectors. I don't know where the fuck we are. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, oh, yeah, we're at the Mira Street, yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, I want to go up that tall stairway. When you swing right here, I'll swing mm -hmm. first. People could be coming up the ramp or down the ramp, depending on which way. Okay. I'm just going to cross it so do. With way too many audio contacts all around, Leo and I decided to get indoors as quickly as possible to reassess where we need to go for each of our tasks. I know we're making a lot of noise, but I tend to take the approach of moving him outside because there's too many numbers to get shot from. So I don't want to be slow and easy to hit. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, okay. I can push him. Just two, maybe? Uh, yeah. One's dead. Uh, I'm super fucked up. Okay, real quick. Right off. Oh, he's super fucked up as well. Yeah. <coughs> you want me to go in first? If you're able to push, I'm half dead. Do you? Yeah. I can heal as well. three guys. I'm healing, so I'm not backing up yet. Get him, Leo! Oh no! <laughs> he didn't die from his shots. There's like multiple dudes! What the fuck? I hear another guy. I gotta pack a mag, I literally don't have any more. I'm sorry, Leo. That was insane. It's alright, man. We didn't know how many there were. Yeah. Might be all of them, maybe. Wait, that's three in the hallway, right? This guy, like, bled out. Yeah, then everyone should be dead. After this massive firefight, I counted at least seven down, including our friend Leo, whose gear I would like to hide to insurance, plus the other six to loot. On top of that, we were still half dead and in dire need of surgery, food, and water, with half our mags still empty, and all this after making an insane amount of noise. We had a lot to do, and I knew it would be wishful thinking to hope I could get it all done before more people showed up. That fight was insane, bro. I'm almost dead. Okay, that was aggressive. I definitely thought that was a player rushing me because of the healing noises. Kind of overthought that one. Just a good fight? Yeah, insane fight. <laughs> Chad, 
I gotta repack this stuff. I gotta make sure we're combat effective. I'm gonna tap everything for XP first, and then we'll actually do it. I just wanna make sure I secure the XP if we die. Dude, this is this is just insane. I thought that was a player because I, I've been here so long and made so much noise that I thought uh, someone was waiting for my ass. It's just too scared. I wish I could close some of these other doors. Oh, there's a juice right there. more value to me than the food because we can't buy that ammo. Chat, I've taken my time, man. We're getting all the good stuff. <laughs> all right. I don't think we care about that. Are these empty? This might need to be chambered. Or are the noodles for Jaeger? I don't know. Yeah, they changed the food he wants, right? Maybe I looted him, right? Yeah. I think we need that still for the med thing. Oh, I can't loot that, okay. That's right, there's another dude.
I think he's flanking outside. We get out with our brother's dog tag chat. Try to move into this. So at this point, I've confirmed killing one guy out of a duo, and I still hear noise outside, so it's likely his buddy is still mulling around out there, and who knows who else might come along after all that noise. I'm somewhat pinned in here, but with plenty of cover and time to keep looting everything we want to take out of here. Whereas if this guy really wants to wait for me on the street, he's far more likely to get into fights before I do. That's the hope, at least. Yeah, I'm pretty thick. I have to try to go to the exfil. Anything shitty in here? Uh, I don't think the croutons anything anymore, right? Cause they're not they're not needed for that quest. It's like different shit now. Okay, chat. Am I gonna make it? Given how much fighting I just took part in, and the fact that I killed a guy's partner. Can't help but wonder if it's going to get camped. We also see what our weight situation is. Walking will drain your stamina, yeah. That's a problem. I think I just have to go for it.
I guess I'll do surgery, but... Just to have more hit points. But I can't do my other leg. second painkillers to get myself out of this raid with and no water I just have to go that's it I have secured Leo's dog tag and we got some stuff I don't want that dude's in for but these two just do that I know mine's insured but I don't know mine's modded though I like it and a chat you're right With our medical resources so low and presumably the last target in the area finally defeated, it was time to make my stealthy exit. did get out alive, but not without the help of our friend Leo, who not only took the brunt of the assault just long enough for me to make a last ditch push against this large PMC group, but who also unknowingly gave us the extra 556 five, mags and med kit we would need to get through the remainder of the raid. So with that in mind, I geared up and headed right back into ground zero with Leo so we could finally try and finish up both our tasks on this map. Let's go. Get out of the open. If we stick to the edges, there's a lot of crates and shit to loot. Mm -hmm. Just get inside a building and do something in the toolbox there. You're a loot goblin too, you don't need me to point out loot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, I need to reassess on the quest here. That, that raid was crazy, so... Yes. I'm not worried about the car. If we get there, we get there. Sorry, I just want to break the sight lines. Um, we can both do the under the terror group one, right? Uh, yeah. That's one of the ones I have. Oh, you need. Um, you also need one of the machine guns that's in that building. You need to just walk up to it and look at it, and then you need the other machine gun, or it's like a grenade launcher or whatever. Yeah. I think, I think the other one's in the fusion building. If we read the signs down here, one of these goes up into the fusion building. Maybe we should go for your UGL. Okay. Oh, you got to get to Embercom. We might we might end up just extracting there, which would be pretty convenient. Oh no, we actually I don't have it. We got to go Nakatani. So, yeah, it's probably better to play the beginning slower since these lobbies are full. Maybe we should look for the a sign to go up into the fusion building. I really don't know where it is, but I know you can get in there from here. Mm -hmm. I'll just take it from there, one objective at a time. And I don't know which one of these goes to fusion. 
I'm trying to look for signs, but I'm like, I'm so focused, I'm like looking down the path, <laughs> make sure no one's sitting there. Got a sledgehammer. Do you still need it? Nope. Thanks <laughs> to you. I'm doing it. Alright. Your backpack's sick. It's got like a big furnace on it. Yeah. Oh, the stairwell here. Yeah, I'm that goes door. up into tar bank. There is something up there you need. The oh, okay. Which is the machine gun. That could be where someone was just clomping around, though. Dead guy. Blood everywhere. Bullet holes everywhere. Might as well tap him for XP, you're right on him. Already looted. Yeah. I'll take that 101 XP though. Well, the thing you need is all the way up. I guess we just keep going. Yeah. It's the one where you have to jump over the barbed wire, you know? Okay. So we have two options. Because I'm fat. I could drop my backpack and try to clear it, or you try to clear it and I hold the stairs. I'm fine with the second option. Oh, I see the gun. Okay. Yeah, you'll get a quest tick when you're close and just get the fuck out of there. Yeah, I think that was the cleanest way. That was good. I can go first if you want. So we, I think we might as well try to do the terror group quest because the Nakatani is the next building. So we, we could go like all the way through that building and then cross the street to Nakatani. Take the basement stairs out of here. Which yeah. Is, which is our only exfil option, really, because we don't have a green flare. Bet scaff here. Oh, it's the room! Fuck you, room! I think we have to go outside to go downstairs. Crunch, like... crunch glass. Crunch glass. Oh, nice. I didn't hear that at all until we got close. Keep moving. Even more dead guys. Yeah, way. I don't know where to go. Wait, is this building Nakatani over here? No, that's Empire. That's Empire? We are in Empire. It says on the wall here. Oh. It's just right above your head. God damn it, I keep thinking we're in a different building. No. Oh, Skeff behind us. I don't know why. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is where the car would be. Someone took it. But... Okay. Oh, you got him. Yeah. How, do you get, how do you get in this fucking building? Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a static. Let's watch our spacing a tiny bit. I know it's hectic. Yep. Yeah. Where do we have to go? I think this way. <laughs> These dead guys are like confusing. Oh, here's the dead Essex. Oh. Wonderful. Maybe the door's open. Not much point in looting, just we you know people have been through here. Just focus on securing, clearing, and uh, seeing if it's open. I'm 
not sure which way it is, but I don't think there's very much up here. Okay, well there's number three, that's promising. Right here for me. Uh, it's it's as far as I know it was spawned somewhere in this metal or middle desk. So I'm oh. gonna get out of here right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is. We can run out to Embercom and then we gotta go all the fuck away down the street. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah, I can see Embercom. What's that? Uh, to your left, it's the red stripe on top of the building. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, he's on the... Yeah. There he was. Just taking a quick gander, you know? Yeah. Yeah, let's get your ten. Yep. Yeah. Alright, got the quest. Got Twelve minutes. Yeah, go the same way back. We can. Yeah. Then we're in partial cover for a small amount of our journey. I guess I'll consider standing up or outside. Yeah. Aha! Where are the basement stairs? In here, just. Oh. Scavs here? No way, man. With a solid duo raid completed and the missing lab scientist task finally done, all we had to do was find Leo his other mounted machine gun, the one we'd stumbled into early in this adventure, and both finally take the highly contested car exfil. So we dropped off our loot, handed in the missing hard drive for the scientist task, and headed back in with some cash on us to see if we could get to that paid car exfil first this time. This again. Yeah. A knackle? Do I need that? Probably. What are we looking for? A liquor store for oh, me. Steps outside. Yeah, he ran from right to left. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, it gives me some scaff vibes. Might be baiting though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like to wait for a voice comms. They usually talk. There you go. Take oh. him, take him, take him. So you need to kill him. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I'll take the 82 XP. Okay, one tap. Got my remaining kills by the way, so. Yeah. So I'm free. I'm weapons free. Yep. Got someone walking upstairs. That's not here. Grab a couple of drinks. Yep. <laughs> Snack trick. Yep. Well, that's happening in Tarbank. Yep. Maybe we should just bolt to the right. Go to your building. Isn't the building on the left? 
No, because we're looking at Terror Group, right? Are we? We're looking at Tarbank, I think. Is it Tarbank Terror Group? I, why don't they make the names the same, <laughs> man? They're like, God, dude. Fucking but Tarbank, DSG. Tarbank is an empire, and Tarbank is an empire, so we're looking at empire. Okay, so we want to go right. Oh, we want to go right. The capital yeah. insight, right? Yes, yes. Fucking BSG. Everything has to have three fucking names. Wait. Oh, ready? Oh, out of breath. Okay. Hold on, I got one. There's another. It's, that was a scab, bro. Yeah. Oh, got him. Good? Yeah. He was backing up, like... Oh, another? Oh. Hold that. Uh, that could be a player. I'm gonna try and sneak up to the window. Alright. Huh? Oh, it's just not scav. I see the scav. He, he ran up the escalator. I see a player. Lit him up pretty hard. He's, a, he's like in the middle of the street. He's shooting me. He I see him. Out. Got a scav. He's, he's in the middle of the street, he's like half dead. Yeah, but I have a bleed point. You have a bleed? Yeah, yeah. The scaf hit me. He's moving like down the street further. Okay. Yeah, I saw him behind the truck. Coming down. My right arm is gone. Oh, I'm in the creepy it's this room. Wait, let me let me just uh, heal up the arm real quick. Okay. Man, the angle, I couldn't get my gun up over the height quite enough. I lit him up yeah. pretty good, but I didn't. He's still moving. Walking. Yeah. Oh. Right up above me. Yeah. Take heavy lead. Oh, I need to heal. Yeah, Sam. I was on his face, pretty much sure, but... Not. Oh no, he's still left. Still left. Yes. Is that him? Might be him. Killed a scaf. Oh yeah, we killed two. We both did. Oh, nice. I'm clearing up. I'm just running all the way up. Checking downstairs. Yeah, yeah up is good. That was, there was a duo though. Yeah, I'm on a stairwell, just like half half a flight down. Okay, I'm gonna heal up and repack above you. Yeah. Both arms gone again. <laughs> you want to come up here and take my spot? This is pretty secure. Do surgery. Okay. Yeah. Come up here. Uh, you can hear me healing, probably. It's it's secure. It's just me. Um, you can hide like behind this half thing. Yep.
Oh, there's an AK. Dude on the stairs is fully looted. Yeah. Okay. The other one will be for you. Oh, I <laughs> lost my arm. So <laughs> I'll trade with you when you're done. Yeah, yeah, you can. I didn't realize. Okay, in a second. Alright. I'm good to go again. Okay. <laughs> this other guy fell. I'm coming up. He fell like in the little moat in the lobby there. He's got a caver. I don't know what else. He doesn't seem to have a backpack though. Okay. I'll share with you if he doesn't have anything good. So I, got, I got some good stuff off this other guy. Mm -hmm. Couple trinkets, you know. You didn't, right. you didn't have anything super great. I think red ornament was the best. Okay, now should we try <laughs> to go to the capital fucking thing? Yeah. I guess it's like mm -hmm. now or never. Bro, the car is yep. still here. Really? Let's just get this shit done. We might actually get the car. Yeah, nice. Let's go get your EGS. A lot of dead people. Yep. I think I might like tap these as we run, but I'm not trying to loot this shit. Yeah. I hate these sight lines all the time. This one was a player skip for sure. Oh yeah? Yeah, hey, yeah. Am I going the right way? Is this capital in front of us? This should be capital, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks like a tight. No, it's a scav. This is a player scav in the MDR. Yep. Oh my god, he's a lot of stuff, dude. Oh, this might be the guy I lit up. Maybe he wasn't the PMC. Yo, he's got an ABS. Oh, is that at you? What's happening? No. Okay. What's behind you? Yo, grab this guy's uh, ABS out of his backpack if you want it. Searching the rig, the other rig. Oh, this is going to take a while though. Is it full? Yes. Go and I can't put it in my backpack just like that. Okay, I'll go eyes up. That might be the He's guy you. I was fighting. He kind of looks like the guy I was fighting. Yeah, he had two dog picks on his ABS. So. Oh wait, you never... Here, this will replace your MDR. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I threw it for you, but like... Okay. I can't guarantee. <laughs> Who knows? Eh, I, I'm sure it will come I back I think you insurance. will get that back. Okay, this is scary, but I'm just gonna go. Got it. Okay. You wanna <laughs> go for a car? Yeah. Or do you wanna loot? I'm like full, I'm good on loot. Yeah, I'm, I've got pretty, some pretty good stuff as well. Some dead PMCs here. Yeah. 
Oh, is a 133 on the scab if you need it? Mm, can't take it. No space. All regs in the MDR. Yep. Look, there's so many dead PMCs. Did here. you open a door? No. I heard a door open. Okay. I'm in this middle area here. Rifle or this uh, shotgun, I mean. Okay. Here's Carl. Yep. I started it. So today was a hell of a ride. We got to explore much of the new map, complete every starter quest here, and Leo even got a replacement MDR for the road. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.